Welcome to F260, week 49, Hebrews 11, entitled, Calling Those Things That Be Not As Though They Were. Highlight verses from Hebrews 11, 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. <clears throat> Explaining this, through faith, the desires of our heart can come to be. Applying this, this explanation of the verse is really an oversimplification of what it is saying. For a more precise meaning, we must examine five key words it contains, which are faith, substance, hoped for, evidence, and not seen. Now, let's see how they fit together. <clears throat> what is faith and what is hope? Our hope does not have physical substance. It is merely a desire of our heart. Our faith is our belief in what God's word says in regard to obtaining a particular desire of our heart. Romans 10, 17. <clears throat> our faith allows God's grace to come on the scene and give substance to that desire. Through faith, God's grace turns what had been an ephemeral, bodiless thought into a reality. What we are hoping for doesn't yet exist and cannot be seen, Romans 8, 25. But our faith is the evidence that what we are hoping for will come to pass and produces in us perseverance, that is, patient endurance. Faith and patience go hand in hand. So while believing, remember to stand. What we hope for does not yet exist in the physical dimension, but it does exist in the spiritual dimension, and it will be manifested in the physical dimension as we patiently endure by faith. Just as God said to Abraham in regard to his promise to give him a son, as it is written, I have made thee a father of many nations. Before him whom he believed, even God, who quickeneth the dead, and calleth those things which be not as though they were. Romans 4.17 When God said this to Abraham in Genesis 17.5, Abraham was 99 years old. It was one year before Isaac was born. God did not say, I will make future tense, but he said, I have made, past tense. He calls things that be not as though they were, because they now exist in the spiritual dimension and will come to exist in the physical dimension. My response, the Bible, <clears throat> the Message Bible sums it up well in verses 19 to 25. Abraham didn't focus on his own impotence and say, it's hopeless, this hundred-year-old body could never father a child, nor did he survey uh, Sarah's decades of infertility and give up. He didn't tiptoe around God's promise, asking cautiously skeptical questions. Uh, he plunged into the promise and came up strong, ready for God, sure that God would make good on what he had said. That's why it is said Abraham was declared fit before God, by trusting God to set him right. But it's not just Abraham, it's also us. The same thing is said about us when we embrace and believe the one who brought Jesus to life. Uh, when the conditions were equally hopeless, the sacrifice Jesus made us fit for God, set us right with God. Amen. God bless. Mm -hmm.